What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM and this is the 4th May 2023 build the latest one as of right now. The flashing guide will be present in the description as usual and in the change logs if I show you that Google backup restore is still broken and stuff if your device boot loops revert to an older build and stuff all these things but yeah it didn't boot loop for me at least one particular big fix that is with the google photos backup and yes right now the google photos unlimited storage backup is actually working perfectly fine in case if you want to see the about section let me show you quickly we have the evolution x logo up top the android version shows as 13 evolution x version shows as 7.9 and the security patch is the latest one as of right now as this is the 4th may build this already has the 5th May security patch and that's insane but yeah it does have the latest security patch offered by Google right out of the box. The stock kernel over here is the 4.14 Soviet star and the build maintainer is of course Stalix and the SNX is showing as enforcing. In the system settings we still get a system updated you can check for updates from here and in the gesture settings we still have the quick tap actions and these are the actions that you can choose and customize from. Let me go back. We have the quick loop and camera as well. Then we have the system navigation gestures. In the settings, we get the advanced gestures that is the extended swipe action. And you can customize those between these many options. We have the pill length, pill radius customization, the IME button space or the space below the keyboard and stuff. All these things you can customize. And we have the back gesture animation, haptic feedback, swipe to invoke assistant. All these things should be working perfectly fine. There is also the left edge, right edge and the amount of screen height to be used for the back gesture. Two button and three button navigations are of course there. One handed mode also works perfectly fine. There is double tap to check phone, double tap for pulse notification and stuff. Then we have the lift to check phone and we have the press and hold power button action. Then swipe direct screenshot is also there and it is actually working perfectly fine. There is the share edit delete Google lens and the capture mode feature. Everything is present over here. We have the playback control and the prevent training option and this lift to check phone is actually working fine. I'll show you that. In the pop-up camera settings, we have the sound effects for the motorized front camera and you can change it however you want and there is the camera LED option. That's it about the system settings. Right now, let me talk about the home screen. Well, this time in my opinion, it is the most beautiful looking home screen and right now you are getting the Evolution X launcher over here and with that, the overall experience of the home screen is much, much better. Let me show you the settings of it first. We have the miss settings like the use taskbar, allow home screen rotation, background blur depth, restart and stuff. Then we have the session disabling option as well. In the recent, we have all the options like memory info, screenshot, lens, clear all and the shake phone to clear all the tasks. We have the app drawer right here, the themed icons, app search bar. Then the icon levels in drawer, row height and the background opacity. In the home screen, we have the lock layout, add app icons to the home screen. Double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is there while we're scrolling and zooming. At a glance, then the swipe to access Google app. Then we have the status bar, top shadow and all these things. Hot seat background, then the Google search bar, music search, etc. options. In the icons, we have the icon pack, notification dots and the other customizations. But let's talk about the widgets. Well, they are like working perfectly fine. Like the Google clock widget you are noticing. Yes, that is working. But let me switch to the other screen. Here I have a lot of widgets like the Google Drive widget, the battery widget, the weather widget and the screen time widget. All these things are working perfectly fine and just notice the animations and stuff by opening all of these definitely looks amazingly cool and the animation overall is working perfectly fine. So all the widgets that you will wish for in Android 13 is working perfectly fine here and it definitely looks amazing with all the animation and stuff of the UI. And even the subscriber account widget is working great. Swiping to the left side, we have the Google's Discover page. It is actually working fine. Swiping up will get to the app drawer. You can search for any particular apps that you are looking for. Also, these are the stock apps present by default here. And we have the Fresh Walls and the Pixar app there because I was restoring my Google app data backup, but others are the stock apps of this ROM. Let me show you the recent panel quickly. This is how it looks like. And here we have the screenshot, the lens feature and the clear all option. Then we have the RAM using status or how much RAM it's using. And here we have the split top mode and stuff if you want to see that. Now in the recent panel, I have a couple of apps opened. And right now if I shake the device, as you can see, all the apps has been cleared and the recent is empty. So shake to clear all the apps is actually working. Swiping down anywhere in the home screen will get you to the quick setting panel. And the quick setting panel actually stays like dark, even in the light theme, that is how it is still. But yeah, here you can change the brightness slider style and stuff like I did. So that works and we have the like notification smell as white in the light theme. 
but of course if you turn on dark theme everything will turn pitch black if you want that talking about the quick setting panel this is how it looks like you can edit and add multiple toggles over here but let me show you which toggles that i have added i have the wi-fi mobile data the bluetooth toggle the flashlight auto rotate dark theme battery saver and even in the screen recording there is the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time there is the hevc option as well for this and we also have the anti flicker night light ambient display always on display mode and we have the nearby shared dc dimming and the fps info also appears and this is how it looks the fps info definitely looks cool over here in this rom let me show you the other options like the heads up the reboot toggle and the refresh rate right now you can change up to 90 fps or 90 hertz you can say so you can also switch from like 70 hertz and stuff like that but yeah up to 90 hertz right now you can use and with that yes there is slight bit of color shift i would say like the whites look a little bit yellowish but other than that there is no huge issues at all you will get used to the colors normally and we have the hotspot the data saver airplane mode do not disturb the sound or mute toggle and we have the google home controls and that's pretty much it that's all the toggles that i have over here in the security settings there is also the quick unlock let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed and how it's working so i'll show you first the screen of f40 i have it enabled and as you can see it is working perfectly fine let me try a couple more times so yeah it works and the pickup or lift to check phone if you are wondering about that yes as you can see it wakes up the screen directly and from the lock screen you will also have the shortcuts so you have to tap and hold on them to actually open them or like get it working as you can see tap and hold it works perfectly fine i just enabled the always on display let me show you with that the clocks of course you can customize over here and the lock screen and stuff right now if i just tap the fingerprint scanner again from the lock screen it works and even from the always on display if i tap the fingerprint scanner it unlocks perfectly fine with the always on display again and here on the always on display on the bottom you'll see the battery percentage level that's great but yeah overall the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine you should not worry about it also the face unlock if you're wondering about that let me show you in this session and here i just swipe up from the lock screen and it works let me show you one more time the speed is pretty great of unlocking even with the face unlock no issues whatsoever and the app lock yes it is working perfectly fine no issues with that now talking about the backup restoring thing again yes your google call log or the messages and stuff won't be there and that is a bummer so i'll suggest if you are switching use an app like this sms backup and restore and with that you can restore your sms make sure you do backup before switching the rom in case if you're flashing this latest evolution x but the apps and stuff did restore perfectly fine no issues with app restoring but yeah the app data did not restore properly here now let's talk about the stock camera of course it has the leica camera ultra wide angle lens working perfectly fine the main sensor and even the two extra for zooming is working great there is a portrait mode the night mode and there is a 48 megapixel mode as well and in the video settings of course we have up to 4k 60 fps option so you can choose that if you want really high resolution video shooting options and there is of course the pro mode and with that you can shoot up to 4k 60 fps and with that you can control the white balance focus shutter speed etc also let me show you there is a documents mode as well if you swipe up you will get multiple other options like the vlog vlog pro slow motion up to 1080p 960 fps and we have the time lapse sticker avatars movie effects and all these other options like multicam and stuff you can use this if you want so the Leica camera is very optimized I have tested it no issues whatsoever even in the portrait mode and with the front camera there is the beautification mode and stuff and there is much more modes like the palm shutter voice shutter etc options and even there is other options for videos and stuff so yeah no issues whatsoever with this camera we get the Leica camera by default and that's just great talking about customization it still has amazing amazing amount of customizations I would say in the theme section we have the theme settings and stuff I'll just give you a glance of the customization because it will get a lot longer video if i just show you everything but yeah hundreds plus of the lock screen clock style plethora of options and we have the lock screen clock format even changing option the combined kind of quick setting elements you can actually change it to outline or cyberpunk if you want it the headline and body fonts are there plethora of options for the fonts even the icon pack and the signal icon styles and stuff you get the idea you have plethora of customizations over here no need to worry about it there is the battery styles these are the battery styles that you can choose from i have been using it with the landscape art style a but you can choose from any of these there is the status bar icons and we also have the show wi-fi icon type and stuff all these things are there no need to worry about any icons and here we have the heads up and stuff disabling option also there is a battery light in call vibration as well we have the advanced reboot and stuff in case you want to see that and we have the gestures right here and click to partial screenshot and long press power button toggle torch all these options are present in the lock screen we have the udfps kind of things and we have the always on fingerprint that's the screen of everybody you can say 
and we have the icon picker these are the options plethora of icons to choose from let me go back we have the animations as well and these are the animations that you can choose from i have been using it with the mclaren one has been working perfectly fine also the lock screen charging info media cobalt kind of customizations are there in the buttons we have the volume panel on the left side and the volume panel timeout all these things in the animations we have the power menu appearing animation and stuff and the screen off animation you can change in the mix settings we have the game space you can add any game that you are willing to smart pixels is also there and it is actually working perfectly fine no issues launch music upon headset connect then we have the unlimited google photo storage unlock high pc in games and the netflix booth all three things you can enable over here that's just great we have the ignore window secure flags show cpu info and the two-step icon wake lock blocker alarm blocker and the usb configuration for convenience is still there so that's about all the customizations i would say over here in the battery settings this is how it looks like we still get the pixel kind of battery chart if you need that then we have the smart charging as well then the battery charge warning battery optimization per app you can do over here that's great also in the bottom you will see the sleep mode including with the design battery capacity the current battery capacity charging cycles also there is the temperature scale so you can get very detailed info about your battery and yes i have a brand new battery that's why it's showing as 69 cycles but let me show you with the aku battery app that i have tested it with the screen on time that i have been getting is seven hours plus so that's amazing with this snapdragon 855 the battery life of seven plus hours it's still great i would say and the screen off is about a week and even the combined use you can see it's about four days so the battery life that i have been getting is amazing but if your battery is old it will give you a much lesser amount of battery life but yeah that's fine because the device is already a lot more old and here in the health section you can see my battery health shows up as 97 percent and the fast charging and stuff should be working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever with fast charging that i have faced in the sound and vibration settings we have the media call ring etc volume controls then if you scroll down more we have the vibration and haptics you can set the touch feedback and stuff from here then we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option then if you scroll down more we have the per app volume control dial per tones in call sound and notification and stuff screen locking sound charging sound and vibration touch sound etc silent media mute option is there then we have the me sound enhancer you can enable it from here and there is the youth edition and stuff and we get this direct kind of logo right here then we have the choose preset option base booster and stuff is still there smart scene is still there then we also have the enable hi-fi option on the bottom here in the haptic feedback you can change the intensity of the vibrations and we have the clear speaker option right here and you can clear the speakers if it sounds muffled so let me show you while playing media in the lock screen this is how it looks and you can pause the media right here and it has this android 14 kind of animation if you're noticing and you can change the output device from right here you can increase or decrease the volume from here you can switch it to the speakers and stuff also in the quick setting panel it looks like this and if you play the music there is that like wavy kind of seek bar if you're noticing it has this animations and stuff everywhere let me show you here in the volume panel you can switch the output device from here too and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here and there is the live caption mode as well the safety net passes right out of the box so banking apps is not a problem on this rom also the dear info shows as l1 here so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p in the display settings we have the brightness level adaptive brightness and the lock screen kind of settings we have the privacy controls right here then the shortcuts you can actually change it between these many options and in the right button too you can change it then we have the change wallpaper kind of settings so i'll show you the wallpapers and styles from here but in the change wallpapers there is the feathers option and there is on device wallpapers there is also the papers app of evolution x for the wallpapers but yeah, the wallpaper i have been using is from the fresh walls app i guess and the wallpaper colors you can change between 16 colors then we have the dark theme the themed icons app grid and you can set it to up to 6 by 10 then we have the system icon packs plethora of icon packs are here then we also have the system fonts these are the fonts that you will get also double line clock always show time and info is the always on display then we have the lift to check phone always on fingerprint and the wake screen for notification and stuff is still there then we have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes pocket detection is there and i tested it, it is working the dark theme is there you can schedule it and change the times and stuff the display size and text is still there we have the dpi changing option the live display option is here we have the anti flicker and there is outdoor brights and modern stuff and the color calibration is still there we have the rgb control of the screen we have the allow window level blurs the dc dimming auto rotate screen and the minimum and maximum refresh rate you can set you can see all the other refresh rates from here there is a low power refresh rate as well but i won't say it's changing it we have the screen projector mode prevent accidental wake up option again and we have the wake up on plug and the refresh rate per app you can switch up to 90 hertz over here or 60 hertz you can switch it to so if you ask me personally what do i think about the latest build of evolution x rom which is the version 7.9 
Well, I would say here everything over here is amazingly smooth. All the UI kind of animation and stuff is amazingly smooth. But still with the 90 FPS and stuff, there is still the VIP kind of issue sometime may appear. It appeared for me only once then I disabled the apps VIP. But yeah, otherwise I would say it's a much more fluid experience over here. The UI does not feel laggy at all in any situation. Everything is perfectly battery smooth, no issues whatsoever. Just notice the Twitter scrolling, how smooth it is. No issues whatsoever with the scrolling and stuff and switching between apps is not a problem. Memory management is amazing over here. But yes, there is still the issue of the app data restoring, Google messaging data and stuff. All the messages did not restore for me. Even the call logs and stuff will be empty for you too. So yeah, make sure you back up those things if you are trying to flash this ROM. Other than that, I would say it's a really amazing experience of using the ROM. And here are the Android Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea of the overall UI performance. And I'm just impressed with the widgets on this ROM. You are gonna get an amazing look of the home screen and stuff with all these widgets and even the overall stability of this ROM is amazingly well. Evolution X has been one of my favorite ROMs because of the customizations of it. And still I can say it definitely gives you the best kind of experience out there for the Redmi K20 Pro. Even the battery life over here is great and it supports the fast charging and stuff. I would say yes, most ROMs does have some or the other bugs. Here you will get some bugs, but yes, the overall stability of it, you cannot simply match with other ROMs in my personal opinion. Let me in the comments what do you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.